So today we will talk about a Likud problem 916. So let's take a look at this problem. So basically we are given arrays. So say here we have words one with bunch of strings. We have words two. We are set a bunch of st strings. Now we want to find the um, so we basically want to return all the array of strings from words one satisfying this universality of property so what is this let's look at example let's look at amazon so from words two we have character e and o amazon doesn't have letter e this is not un universal strings apple well apple has an e but apple has no o so this does not satisfy the property facebook facebook has both e and o so it is it satisfies that property so it, so it is here and google google has both o and e so it is also in this output lead code has both e and o so it is also in the output so that's that's it it's pretty similar yeah but these examples are very simple and um, you also have to pay attention to this word multiplicity now let's look at the more co complicated example okay so previously the words two we had letter e and o now let's change that to letter e and here we have double o now in this case so previously we we had three strings so we had facebook google and lead code were universal so those were the um, output now here we have letter e and we have double o in this case lead code doesn't satisfy this universality property because we only have one o and we need two o so so that so this is something that you have to keep in mind because the example didn't give you this kind of edge case so this is something that we have to keep in mind now let's let's go ahead this problem the way you solve this problem is using dictionary so in python you'll be using i i use i use collection module so we just have to be very careful about that that case where we had like multiple characters like here so what what we will do is we will count how many letters appear in words two so in this case we have letter e and letter, letter o so when once we iterate from the beginning to the end on words two we will get letter e and we only see this character once and letter o we only saw, the, saw this character once here now let's say words two is this guy this is a little bit more complicated so here we have letter L and O so there will be because we haven't seen so this is um we haven't seen previous letters so we just set them equal to one so letter L we saw this once and letter O we saw this once forget about two for a moment now when we are at here when, when we are on here we have E well we haven't seen E beforehand so we put E here and set that equal to 1 we saw now we have this this guy we have two O's but previously we only saw one O so what should this value be why should this be 2 well like remember that case when we had say um, lead code if so why should this be two well if it is one then we don't take this into account 
we have to take this take this into account so we basically take the maximum of the previous number which was one and the current number this is two so so when when you when you use that approach when you so so this is something that you have to keep in mind and then it should be good this problem you can solve this little problem it's a little bit verbose that however is my intention i just want to be very precise and in case i miss something while i was talking so result just an empty empty array that we will return here words to counter would be just collection dot dic default dictionary and so we iterate from fr we iterate this words to from from the start all the way to the end we create this temporary uh, collection dot counter what and then we and then we build this words to counter now if we haven't seen the character before we set words to counter and character equal to count so this is what's going on so so let's be more precise if words to is equal to say l o and we have we also we also have e o o and they um say we are on l o so in this case we it will be temp temp would be collection dot counter and inside the parenthesis we would have l o so we would have l dot one because we only saw l once and o colon dot one because we we also saw o once and because we haven't seen that we haven't seen either l or o beforehand so words to words to counter and inside this uh, bracket we would have l and the count will be one similarly we have words to counter and inside the bracket we would have o and then the count will be one now suppose words words suppose words is this guy e o o then our temp would be e colon one and, and o colon two now e we haven't seen before we had we only had l and o so for this e we will be here so words to counter and inside the bracket we would have e and then the count will be one however for this guy we already saw this guy right we saw the o from here so that's why we will be taking the maximum here words to counter and inside this character inside this bracket we will have o and this guy will be corresponding to this guy so this guy will be one count count will be this guy two so we take the maximum we will get two so yeah that's that's this part so this will take care of the words too and we will have a nice easy form easy representation that we can uh, solve this problem now we'll be working on words one similarly we have basically a uh, we similar approach we just have a is universal variable as a flag so we set that equal to true so we will, we will be um, iterating say um like say amazon here Am say this words refer to amazon so when we are working on this amazon inside this whole loop if this happens to be not universal we set that equal to false and then we break and so that this guy will will not be run if this if say um uh, if we have a words refer to facebook then this is universe this is universal so so we we run all the way false okay so now let's say uh, words refer to facebook now in this case we will run for loop from from here from the beginning to the end and we don't encounter this we don't ever uh, we don't ever arrive at this break point so that's so in that case because is universal is true we will append the word facebook to the result yeah 
So that is pretty much it. And let's look at this code a little bit more in more detail. So we have this if statement. So this we have two things to check. If if character from words to is not a string, not in a string, then we set the flag is universal equal to false and break the for loop. So for example, if words if words points to Amazon and then our words to counter is E and O. So basically using this guy. Yeah. Well, E is not present in Amazon. So we so so we have we arrive here. Is universal is equal to false and then we break. Now when we break this this guy this if statement is not run and then we go to the we move to the next part, Apple. And let's think about this case. Uh, second case in this case let's use the leak code now e is present so we have so words to counter is e and o e is present here however we only have one o but here we have two two o's so this guy is satisfied and therefore we we also hit this break and then we exit this for loop and we do not run this if statement so that's pretty much it that's pretty much this hopefully um this hopefully all the comments make sense um because i'm not feeling too well <laughs> yeah anyway so let's move on and see if this works what code that you just saw and let's run this Um, so that's for that's for the today and I hope this helps <clears throat> and hopefully um, this code makes sense to you guys um, thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend